Well, here it is, everyone. I know I've been teasing it over the last handful of videos, but we're finally getting on to the build series of my next Honda three-wheeler conversion bike. I figured since we already built a red one and a white one, we might as well build a blue one while we're at it. So let's get into it and look what we started with. A little problem right there. So as you can see, the old girl is missing a lot of stuff and the engine was pretty much shot. So don't worry everybody, not a lot of good Honda parts were destroyed during the build. And as with all my builds, we start off by tearing into the thing and stripping everything down to the last nut and bolt. The frame was pretty rusted out and rotted in the back end, so I guess I don't feel too bad about chopping a half a foot off the back of it. But luckily the wheels were in pretty darn good shape and should restore just fine. There's nothing a little sandblasting, epoxy primer, and paint won't fix right up. I wonder what kind of luck I'm going to have getting this brake and axle out without using the torch. Because every single one of these things I've ever touched have been rusted together pretty darn solid. And I'm going to need a new muffler. Anyone know where I can find a nice one? <clears throat> you know, I just realized something. Why am I wasting so much time trying to take this rusty thing apart? I'm just going to be chopping the back end of it off it anyway. So let's just forget about this for now and just take the rest of the bike apart. And while I'm doing that, I'm kind of curious. What other channels do y'all like watching on YouTube? Because I've been trying to think of other ways to make my videos more entertaining for y'all. And I'd love it if you left me a comment below letting me know what you enjoy watching. I'll be sure to check them out. And if I find some cool ideas, I'd love to incorporate them into my videos. Now that the 110 is all stripped out, I'm going to cheat a little bit and tear apart my white bike so I can take some measurements. I figure since that bike rides so nice, I might as well leave well enough alone and just copy what I chopped out on that one. Ooh, she's a little dirty back here. I wonder who the ding dong is who designed this thing. I decided to bend a little piece of sheet metal to the same arc that I cut out on the white bike's frame so I can just trace that out on the new bike and we should be able to start chopping and making some sparks fly. Alright, now on to the naughty part of cutting the back end off the frame. I'll keep the axle and the brake goodies in the parts pile for a restoration video in the future. Yeah, buddy, that was a fun day of demolition. 
Now let's move on to boxing in the back part of the frame with some 3 16 inch steel. The first thing I need to do is bend this plate in the hydraulic press so it fits the curve that I chopped out of the Honda frame. I didn't get everything totally perfect on the press, but after a little bending here and there, we should be able to clamp the plate to the frame and do a little welding. Kind of sounds like I need to adjust the tension on the drive roller on the welder. Yeah, I figured out what's going on eventually. There we go. Now the welder's working fine and we're cooking it with fire. Let's go cut out some more reinforcing plates out of steel and get them welded in place. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any problems here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. What I'm doing here is cutting out some paper templates for the side reinforcing plates. I'll then transfer them over to the steel and start cutting. Now if I really wanted to be cool, I should have grabbed the plasma cutter and chopped these guys out. Nah, maybe next week. Bandsaw will do fine for now. The reinforcing plates are going to tie the original structural parts of the Honda frame to that arc that we welded in earlier. This should keep things super strong so we can beat the heck out of the bike on the trails and not have to worry about anything breaking down in the future. We've got one last plate to weld into the bottom and this sucker should be boxed in and ready to roll. One more thing I want to do is cut a big drain hole in the bottom of the frame so any water or mud or junk like that doesn't get stuck up inside and rot things out over time. I'm going to coat the inside of the frame with some cavity wax after I get done painting things up so this thing should stay rust free forever. And now that things are looking pretty darn good, next time we're going to move on to building the swing arm. 
But until then, you got to click on the video on the left if you haven't seen the build video of my white three-wheeler conversion bike, or you can click on the video on the right if you want to check out another one of my fun builds. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week.